I can't believe I said all of that without fucking at once. That was so great. <laughs> Hello everybody, welcome back to my channel. My name is Shaki and today we're going to be doing some more assumptions. I'm going to be reacting to your assumptions again. So I did this video back in August when the trend of reading people's assumptions about you was just kind of rising up. I think Luke Cutforth and Eve Bennett were the people who kind of like made it popular. But now it's everywhere again. It's even in parts of book two. So I'm going to go ahead and do it again because it's a resurgence of popularity again. And I decided to ask for your questions on Instagram using the questions thing. But instead, we are going to be seeing some assumptions. I'm going to say if they're right or they are wrong. Just before I go into this video I just want to say two things. The first thing is I took a week off from uploading main channel content last week. There was still a weekly vlog but there wasn't a main channel video like this one. So I hope this is okay and this suffices um, for your liking because it's technically still a reaction video. Second thing, because I took a week off, this is the first video I'm posting after I've hit 2,000 subscribers. So thank you so much. I honestly don't know how to thank you enough because I'm not really sure what to do to celebrate. I was going to get slimed for 1k and then totally forgot and it got expensive. So so I'm not really sure what what I'm going to do, so I'm just seeing. Uh, so if you have any suggestions on how I can celebrate 2k then please let me know in the comments section. Here are some more of your assumptions and if they're right or wrong. So the first one comes from my bookstagram and that is the fact that I only read YA. I'm going to say this one's true because I don't read a lot of genres but it isn't because I don't know about them, I just don't own them. I just own a lot of YA and I want just to read a lot of YA so I read a lot of YA. It's not really that complicated. Next is I am either vegan or vegetarian or I have been thinking about it. And this one is true. Um, I I haven't been veggie or vegan. I tried to go vegetarian a very long time ago, but I was still very young. I didn't really understand what it was. I just thought it was a trend, but then as I've grown up, I've realized how much more it means to the world and how much more being a vegan or being a vegetarian helps or hinders the planet. So I really would like to be vegetarian at least by this time in two or three years. I think by 2022, I really would like to be vegetarian. I just enjoy a lot of foods like chicken and bacon, and I've heard that the vegan and vegetarian substitutes aren't exactly great. So if you are a vegetarian and have any advice for someone like me who loves chicken and who only eats chicken and beef basically, um, if you have any advice for that in the next few years, please let me know. The next one is that I like to learn and for this one I'm going to say that is true because after all I am a Ravenclaw and some things have to coincide with Ravenclaw stuff. So for example in psychology I absolutely loved learning about depression and OCD and abnormalities and stuff like that. Um, but like we were learning about obedience the other week and right now we're learning about babies and them two things don't interest me. So I guess it just depends what I'm learning about. But overall, yes, I would say that I like to learn. I actually really want to learn the Spanish language because I, I like it. But the next one says, you seem confident, but it's actually very tough to keep it this way. Um, I would say yes and no for this one. I would say it's really hard to upkeep sometimes being this confident facade, especially when you get hate comments. And as my channel grows, it's natural for you to have kind of bump into people who aren't going to like your channel or just kind of shit on your channel for no reason. I feel like the more my channel grows, the more this is going to be harder to upkeep but also it's going to be more of an implemented thing of me trying to be confident when more people are going to be hating on me. I'm not really sure if I'm being more confident or I'm just masking things. I don't know. The next one is that I am very open-minded and for this one I would say yes. So I wouldn't say I'm open-minded 100% of the time, but for the majority of the time I am quite open-minded. Next one is that I'm a media student and I'm actually not a media student anymore. I'm a film and psychology student right now, but I will be a media student again in September when I go to university. The next one is the fact that I've always been a reader and this one is not true because I only really found interest in reading about three years ago. But now I've surrounded myself with people who actually like reading and I found my place in booktube I really do enjoy reading. The next one is also about reading because I asked on booktube and my main Instagram. This one is the fact that I skim read. Um okay I'm gonna say yes and no again for this one. I'm gonna say no because I don't do it on purpose. My eyes read faster than my brain can comprehend sometimes. So often I will have to go back and reread something because I'm like whoa slow down eyes brain can't keep up. I'm not entirely sure why but after the 100 page mark the skim reading does come in and it really is my biggest flaw with reading because it hinders my reading experience just by a little bit. I mean reading fast wow woe is you. It does affect my reading experience with me trying to like digest the information and remember it in like leather books. So I don't know, yes and no. Next one is that I pretend to like John Green because I'm edgy. Why would I pretend to like an author to be edgy? If I really wanted to be edgy, I would pretend not to like him. 
wouldn't that make more sense? The next one is that I'm really short and I don't know if this is true. Um, I'm the tallest out of my sister Waverly and I. So when we're going around town, I'm the tallest, but not by much, not by an incredibly amount. I'm way shorter than my boyfriend who's five foot 10. So I think I'm around like five, 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 six because my boyfriend has a few inches on me. In the height department, you dirty sod. I'd say I'm about five, five. Five, six, and I haven't really grown since I was like 12. So, the next one is the fact that me and Waverly bonded over books. There's a lot of bookish ones, which I probably should have expected because I asked for a bookstagram as well. Me and Waverly actually did not bond over books. Um, we have been friends for a lot longer than I've been reading. She got into it in her early teens, basically, and I didn't really get into it until about three years ago, until I was like 16. So I think it's really safe to say that we didn't bond over reading, but we do bond over books that we're reading currently, if that makes sense. This is a very big misconception the fact that me and Waverly have only really known each other because of BookTube, and that is not true at all. If you saw some of her private videos, wait, that sounds wrong. Fan fictions, hold your pens. If you saw some of her older videos of us, like fetus, me with my double chin and her with her glasses that she used to wear, you'd know that we didn't bond over books. Again, it sounds so dirty. It's not like that. The next two are about 24 hour readathons and more specifically the Viewers Seasons that me and Waverly host. The first one is that I cheat in Viewers Seasons and the second one is that I don't stay up the full amount. I mean, I don't normally stay up the full amount because I normally get really tired but when I've successfully completed my TBR or I'm happy with the books that I've completed in that time slot, I will stop. Because I'm not the type of person who would ruin my reading experience to be better than somebody else, to read more than somebody else and be like, I read six books today but they're all shit and I don't remember any of them. So I try and keep it at a normal pace in Viewers seasons but I promise you that I do not cheat. The next one is the fact that I've considered quitting YouTube. I'm gonna say yes. I'm not gonna give a great explanation but I think everyone has. The next one is that I cry 24-7 and this one is untrue. Obviously I'm not crying now so I'm not crying 24-7. But I do cry a lot and I think that's healthy. The next one is that I am plus sized and it depends what measurements you're like classifying and trying to find out if that makes sense because in the modeling world yes I am plus sized because plus size to them is like a size 10 and over so of course the average person is going to be plus size. But by like shops and like um just you know, fashion in the UK anyway, I am not plus sized, which is really surprising to some people. By modelling standards, everyone's plus sized. So the next one is I use artists for views and in the brackets they've put, sorry. Okay, so I guess it's time to address this. I do a series on my channel called Reacting to Artists for the First Time, where I reacted to K-pop, Billie Eilish, Lil Peep, just to name a few, for the first time. And people have only been really having a problem with it until I did a Lil Peep one, because he's not here anymore, because he's passed. But I feel like me doing one one-off video reacting to somebody isn't necessarily using them for views especially where none of my videos have are monetized at all I don't see how I can use somebody for something if I'm not actually gaining anything from it apart from views because although you could class like gaining subscribers from it kind of but not really. I didn't make any money off of any of the videos, the reaction videos that I've posted. It's all gone to uh, the company and the artists that I've reacted to. Like, I don't get anything. I would say no for this one. You can think whatever the fuck you want. <laughs> the next two are tied because one of them is the fact that I will end friendships and relationships over political opinions and that I've ended a lot of friendships this year. These two go together like fucking bread and butter. Yes to both of these. I will end relationships, friendships, romantic ones, anything over political opinions but it depends how like extremist you are with them and I feel like it's really important and a part of self-care for you to take care of yourself and take care of your opinions and not associate yourself with people that don't share your opinions. At the same time it's really important to have friends who you don't share the same opinions with because you can learn a lot but I feel like again it depends how much they're in your face about it and if they're being like really disrespectful to you it just depends but I am going to say yes to both of these. I have dropped a lot of people in 2019 already and it's only March I think I've dropped like six people five people none of you are safe. <laughs> the last assumption finally is the fact that I I never vlog myself eating. That is true. I used to vlog myself eating until I got a very malicious comment that said, Wow, for someone with an eating disorder, you sure eat a lot. And I just, I binged and purged for two months after that. But now I never film myself eating because I don't feel comfortable with it after that comment. And the fact that a majority of people probably wouldn't look at me eating and be like, wow, she's not got an eating disorder anymore because that's not how it works. I don't think anyone's missing out on anything or any like quality content by me not like vlogging me eating. 
Do people even recognise that? Do people even notice that before this person said this? But no, I don't vlog myself eating anymore because I don't really see the point and the fact that it makes me feel really uncomfortable. So there was my second part of this assumptions tag thingamajiggy. If you liked it, please don't forget to thumbs up and subscribe. I make videos every Monday and Wednesday on this channel. I also have a book to travel which I post on every single Tuesday. I probably won't be doing another part of these assumption videos because as I start to get bigger, people are starting to be more rude about these assumptions. So this will probably be my last one, but I really hope that you enjoyed it and I will see you next week for another video. Thank you so much for 2k one four three bye